contest is in this room coming up next so uh, if you're interested in that it is an 18 plus panel as well um, just so you know but I mean you guys are all over 18 I'm sure so if you're not I won't say anything <laughs> <laughs> so um, just just some of your thoughts what are your thoughts on the convention so far this year thank you oh thank you your first one? Oh, nice yes more real tech products well yeah the guide, so I have to miss something I want to see. Oh, like what? Well, let's put it this way. Talk to me about this. The pre show. I have missed that guy's glasses. That guy's glasses. Oh, I'm sorry about that. And. Where was the car? Yep. Miss 404s. 404s have a bunch of different panels going yeah, on. Yeah, the night light, the night light's the best one. The night light? Oh, yeah. It's it's that is true. <laughs> well, with programming, um, I can say from experience, it's, it's quite hard because, I mean, obviously, they're going to have to book things against each other, and it's really, really, really difficult. <laughs> Been a lot of last minute changes, too. But. Four days convention. Sorry? Four day convention. A four day convention. Oh. What do you guys think of a four day convention? <laughs> that, that is pretty tough. We're only in our second year, so I think it's going to take a little while before we can do that. And how many guys are you guys in the direction? Oh, thank you. Just as a first thing that you see, that's a lot of organizing that you guys have to do. You need more stuff. Yes. It is. I, uh, I also run the idol contest, um, but I had to make the decision that next year I won't be doing that. I just don't have time. Um, do, you, do you guys know what our official numbers were for last year? Around 5,000. 5,233 people in our first year. That was unbelievable. Like I, every day I'd, I'd come here and I'd be thinking, okay, well, it's our first year, you know, we'll, we'll be pretty good. But then you go up the escalators and you see the pre-reg line. And then the next day you see the reg line and it doesn't stop. <laughs> it goes outside and all that stuff too. So it was, it's like, what are, what are we getting ourselves into? So, <laughs> but it's a lot of fun. Absolutely love it. And it, without 
um, people like you guys coming to these conventions, we wouldn't be able to put them on. So it's really for the fans, of course, and you know, uh, we try to bring in voice actors that you might like and stuff too. Uh, we had the Sailor Moon voice actors last year, which for me was a real treat because I am a huge fan of Sailor Moon. I didn't know if you noticed or not. Um, <laughs> and uh, this year, of course, we have Fairy Tale and Full Metal Alchemist. Uh, we didn't know that Sharon and Lee was going to uh, have to cancel until yesterday, so I'm really, really sorry about that. We have lots of other great guests, including some bands. Why did she cancel? Uh, contractual. She had something else that came up, so uh, she wasn't able to do it last minute. So. so she wanted to come? Yeah. Oh, yeah. She wanted to come. She just couldn't, so. <laughs> we actually sang happy birthday to Todd Haberkorn this morning, because today is his birthday. You know what I heard? Yeah, he, it was his birthday today. He wasn't here, but Sarah Sullivan from Funimation took the video and she was going to post it to embarrass him. Vic Mononia's birthday is in two weeks, so we sang happy birthday to him. Sarah's birthday was a week ago, so we sang happy birthday to her. So if you missed out on the opening ceremonies, you missed out on a bunch of stuff. So don't forget to uh, come to the closing ceremonies, of course, as well. Uh, check out Origa's concert tomorrow. Do we have any Ghost in the Shell fans or any of Origa's fans here? A couple of you? Excellent. She's wonderful. Such a nice lady. Um, Quite good, she's Russian. Um, she speaks some English, but she's really, really good with that. Um, so tell me some of the guests you guys are excited to see. Toro Furuya! Toro Furuya, yeah. me too, Tuxedo Mask. Who else? <laughs> Todd Habercorn, I'm assuming. Yes. <laughs> Actually, I got some Oh, Todd got a tiara for his birthday. Todd got a tiara for his birthday, so if you see him, make sure to bring that up. If you go to the fairy tale panel tomorrow, which will be in here at 12, I should know the schedule, I made it. Um, somewhere around that point. Uh, bring it up. Where's your tiara, Todd, if he's not wearing it? He probably won't wear it. He should. 12 30. Yeah. <laughs> yes, he should. I should put that in. I should be like, you have to wear your tiara. Yes. Um, just a couple other things to mention. Uh, for Anime Revolution Idol, Doug Walker is going to be helping to host that. And we will have the band, uh, Leilika, they're going to be helping the judge, and then Chantel Strand, who's only coming for Sunday, uh, she'll be helping the judge as well. We are going to be her first convention, so uh, she wanted to kind of start out a little bit light, so be nice to her. She was, uh, I think it's Diamond Tiara in My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic. Um, she was in oh, a lot of things. The one that kind of came to mind, Gundam kind of Seed, yeah. The one that stuck out to me, though, because I remember watching it on YTV years ago, was called Generation O. Do any of you guys remember that? It wasn't an anime series, it was just, um, it was about this little girl named Molly O. She had really big lips and it was just a really weird animated program. I think the people that do Rugrats did it. She was the lead voice actress for that too, so uh, that was kind of neat for me. Um, and we have the panel called Voice Actor Roulette. Now I'll explain a little bit about that. How many of you have gone to fan expos type stuff? Not necessarily the one in Vancouver, because I don't know if they did it here, but Calgary Expo did it. Um, they get some of their guests, sorry? Oh, did they do the roulette sort of thing where they get a bunch of voice actors? Okay. They take scripts from things like Star Wars or, or something to that effect, and they have actors go up on stage, voice actors, and they do different voices. Megan, you went to the one in Calgary. Um, who did they have Tara Strong do? Or was she there? Oh, Oh, okay. Just like they had Bubbles is Darth Vader. Well, you know, Bubbles is Darth Vader from Star Wars. So you take these, you know, you can do that sort of a thing. We're going to do the same kind of thing. I'm not sure if they're doing it like Star Wars and stuff, or if they're just going to do it as uh, um, anime, like you might see. Okay, Edward, Edward Elric as Sailor Moon, or something like that. I have no idea, but it's happening on Sunday, so you definitely want to check that out. It should be lots of fun. Anyway, i got to stop because we got to get set up for the swimsuit contest. Thank you very much, everybody, for coming. If you want to come and see the swimsuit contest, then I think you have to line up for it. But thank you very much. Come on, Danny.